Hey. Hold on. Hmm? Listen. Hey! You! <laughs> hey. Okay.
I got this. Here we go. Get serious. Step out. Watch this! You're gonna get stomped! This sucks! Who do I call? I'm not backing down. You wanna fight? I'm in there. Go get You're gonna be in a world of All right. Get serious. Who do Take your best shot! Time to call a friend! I summon you! You want sudden death or sudden surprises? In service with a fountain! Calling pound mates. Let's go. I got this. Oh. Going in. Oh. No mercy. Yeah. The enemy is defeated. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo. Damn. Hey. Yo! Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like, hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, 
But how about this? I will work as a hostess here, starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Uh, huh? We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right. But be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Hey. Anybody here? Hey, excuse me. You need something? Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still... It's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah, fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Right? I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. Just touch. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. 
That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you... Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take. And as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me? Or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan. Got it. In it for the long Yep. Looking good. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, pretty good.
Ready when you are. Look, there's some shepherd's purse here. Shepherd's purse? It's a weed. That's pretty good when you boil it up and put it into a broth. You can get fish mint, vetch, and mugwort from this part of town, too. Wow, you know your weeds, huh, Namba? Well, I didn't learn it overnight. Nearly killed myself a couple times. Still, I got better at telling which was which over time. Now I've got a pretty good idea of things. The more dangerous they look, the better the taste. You know, the first guy to eat sea urchin must have been a little something like you. That's not a compliment, is it? Ready when you are. Don't stop, Madik. So do that.
way to be greeted unbelievable every single girl is sexy as hell I, mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on restaurant row focus guys we got to find Zhang hi there nice to meet you are you having a nice evening oh yes <laughs> thank you uh, ni, ni hao uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claimed she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sanchon! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you wanna go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Ah, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? 
It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? Yeah. Cause I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar! Kill them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir. sir! You're just... Let's do it! Right. Okay, Let's cop. go! All right. Try this on the side. You wanna fight? Cool. You'll get one! Cool. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Yeah, no, I hear you. Come on! Get serious. You're gonna get stomped. <laughs> Take your best shot. She I got it. This will be good. Come on. Let's go! die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could've fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey! Bring the manager in here! I want to tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps! Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk! What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the Soapland? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Plan turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but, you're Liu Mang. The Yokohama Liu Mang was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. But you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. 
A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart, so he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. <sighs> wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So say you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. I used to work there part-time and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liu Man guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. 
Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. But thanks for not being a prick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh... Hey. Yo. Got it. Okay. I got this. Get a lie. Right. Get serious. Let's go. Cool. Check this out. I'm not back again. Take him. I'm up. Let's go. What's going on? Weak. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. What's this? safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi-san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. 
Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijincho. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. ありがとうございます。あの。
<laughs> no. Ooh. それでは。Thanks. Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still huh? You gotta be kidding. Yo! What the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner, my brother, my family boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than- Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole- His partner must be some kind of- That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands but- Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank! But if you insist on stopping, then... I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss! Beat him down! Okay. Watch this! I'm not beating him down! Here we go. 